In today's video, we're going to look at converting characters from Dash Studio over to Character Creator. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now today we're going to look at converting characters from their studio over to Character Creator. Now uh, before I get going, um, I just would like to invite all of you to my Patreon. I've got a Patreon account and the reason or the purpose of that Patreon account is I'm busy working or creating my very own 3D animated film and I'm taking all my Patreons along with me on that journey and um, your support will then help fund my project, my film, um, but like I said, I'll take you alongside with me on that journey, you will learn, you'll see how I create the film, I'll do some interviews with some people as well, so it will be a learning curve for you as well, As and you will also um, hopefully be inspired to go and create your own projects, because you will first hand see how I do it, so feel free to support me um, by joining my Patreon, um, I will highly appreciate it, um, we're also going to cover what I'm going to cover in today's video as well, and that is creating your own characters, and I use Daz Studio and Character Creator for my, to create characters for my film, um, so the reason for this film, or the purpose of the purpose of this video is I received a comment from uh, Mark Arnold, I hope I'm pronouncing your name or your surname correctly, and he just said, good morning, I would like a little advice, what are the export settings on DAS that I need for a correct import with Morph on Character Creator, I often have surprises with clothes, for example, a little tutorial on how to do it would be great, thanks in advance. Um, so Mark, thanks for that um, message i'm going to show you how i create my characters now there is some flaws i'll have to admit it um there is very long ways to fix it um especially when it comes to clothing but i'm going to share with you what i do um because if you're going to spend money on daz to create or to purchase clothing i would rather spend my money somewhere else where i don't have any issues any problems that I need to fix, etc. Um, so in Daz, if we go to Daz, I just quickly created this character, and there's a reason why I use this character, um, because it will show one of the faults there is when you convert your characters, and then I can talk about my workflow and how what I do. Okay, so I've got my character here. Now the first thing you need to do, okay, you need to select him, and then you first need to drag a T pose over your over this character. Okay. Now, when you install Character Creator or iClone, um, I don't know if you want to pause here and follow this um, where it is um, because it's sometimes difficult to find. But there is a Daz resource folder inside your Character Creator template um, folder, and you'll see there is different. Poses. Now, if I go one folder back, you'll see there's A poses as well, but you need to select the T pose, and then this is a G8 character, so I then need to drag my G8 male T pose on top of this character, but you need this is just the image, so I need to drag this Duff pose over, and there I've done that. This is just to help character creator to read your character um, perfectly okay so I've got my character in my T pose now I can export it okay so file export and let me I've created a folder let me quickly find it I think it's this one yes and let's just call it um, test and I select the Autodesk FBX and save. Okay, so here you've got some options. So the first one I use is FBX 2011 binary. And then include figures. Um, 
we don't want to include props and lights etc and merge followers into target so these are the my settings and then um, let's just move this up so you can see so basically all everything that is figure you want it to be yes okay so that is important and then you can just say accept and it will export your character so that is the settings that I basically use and then once it is done I can go over to uh, character creator and then I can import this character and then I will just show you some other settings as well just a quick thing you'll note I removed his um, eyebrows um, another there's another reason for it um, this specific character and some other characters in Daz as well it somehow exports the eyebrows as props and then when you import it you can't link it to eyebrows you can either link it to clothing or hair and then if you do so you can't animate it so what I do is I normally use um, I will show you guys just now what I use so if I go to character creator I now just open up the base character that when you open up character creator it opens up this character and then this transformer and then I select CC3 plus and then you can then go and find the character that you've created test double click and now it will import this character and then there's just a few settings as well that you need to um, select and this normally takes a bit of a while uh, to import your character okay so I go advanced And here you need to do some mapping. Okay, so make body texture. I, um, you can. It does. This doesn't matter. It, it really depends on your graphics card and the detail you want. Uh, if you don't have a good graphics card, just go 1024. If you have a good graphics card, go for 1496. For this purpose, I'm going to go 1024, and then all of these as well. But now you will see, Toon Larry hair type cloth. So you need to make this hair, brows, beard, okay, men's pants is cloth, pullover, cloth, men's shoes is shoes, and then shirt, cloth, and then you need obviously to um, layer this as well, and you can also select, the layer is like the, um, the pullover is going to be over your shirt, so that is what layers is for, and then you can also select 1024 or 496, let's keep it for 1024, and once you are happy, um, then you can click OK. And then it will import this character, so this normally takes a bit of a while, um, but once this character is imported, um, then you'll I'm going to show you some the some problem that when you import clothing from Daz there's a certain problem um, that is quite hideous to fix and then I will share with you what I do and then also I just use this makeup um, tool um, I can't remember what it what it, it's called um, but you can add your own eyebrows um, to your characters and that is normally where I go and I add eyebrows to my characters the same place where you add um, facial hair you can also add um, eyebrows so that is basically where I add my eyebrows that will mean that um, when I do my face puppet animation uh, the eyebrows will move move if I don't if I import that other eyebrows from Daz, it um, it won't work. Okay, so here is my character. It is imported. Uh, I've just put it on custom just for now. And so the first problem you will note is if I go to that shirt here at the bottom, it stretches. 
okay it didn't it didn't import it right you can see there it doesn't look right okay then obviously other issues is um, like this where it shines through but this is an easy fix so if we go to um, where is the pullover there you go um, it is just edit mesh um, no it's conform and then you just want to pull it uh, you can just drag it and there you go that is fixed so there is some issues that you need to fix you can see there by the shoulder as well um, so yeah you there is some issues but the biggest issue like those pieces that shine through those are easy fixes but this um, is a problem and it also normally happens between the legs right there uh, depending on the type of clothing if it is loose fit you will normally have this problem if it is like tight clothing that is very t um, tight for example this pullover doesn't have that problem because it doesn't have any sleeves so depending on the type of clothing you will have this type of issues okay so what I do then is instead of um, purchasing clothes from Daz, I would rather purchase clothes from um, the Reillusion um, content store. Um, there's two reasons why I prefer purchasing clothes and um, also hair from the Reillusion store and not from the Daz store. But it, it kind of depends. The first reason um you don't have this problem okay of the stretch areas under the arms and between the legs you don't have that issue um those clothes are already created for your um for character creator for the characters so that solves that problem you don't have to go and fix this the second reason is especially when it comes to long hair and um, uh, dresses um, when you purchase clothing from the content store especially if it's content that was created by Reillusion um, there's already physics on it so the hair will already have physics on um, if it is a long dress there will already be physics on that so when you animate your character you will have that flow and that movement so what I do is I have my base characters in Daz, I will customize it so that I'm happy. I will import it and then I will um, drag hair and clothing, um, or I'll purchase it from the Reillusion store and then I will use that and drag that on top of my um, character. So it will solve a lot of issues, for example, like that, those stretch issues, and it will also have physics applied to it as well. You can add physics to clothing and um, hair but it is again you need Photoshop um, it is quite a hideous job as well to fix these issues um, it is a, like I say a hideous process but like I say for me what I do just to save a lot of time is I just go and purchase clothing and hair from the Reillusion store and problem solve <laughs> so let's say for example if I remove his hair um, that hair will have no physics on but again it really like I say is the same with clothing if it is tight fit you won't have the stretch issues um, again even with the pants you don't have those issues because the legs are quite apart um, so depending on the clothing you don't you won't have issues same with the hair if it is short hair um, and you don't need physics for it like for example the hair that came with this character you probably don't need physics for it but if it's a female character um, then obviously you're going to need physics on that hair if, if there's a ponytail um, etc so 
those that, that is this is my workflow this is what i do i know there is some little issues when you import especially clothing um to um ca character creator but this is how i this is my settings this is how i do it and um yeah to avoid a lot of issues i just get my clothing and hair from the reillusion store and it saves me a lot of issues um, in the future um, so guys this is basically my workflow um, I know it is not perfect I know it is not solving some issues but to solve these issues it really is a a hideous job <laughs> I've tried to do it and even if you spend a lot of time you don't get it 100% um, so that is an issue. So I just find it so much easier just to go to Reillusion, get clothing that is compatible, that doesn't have issues and does have all the physics applied to it already. And it makes my work so much easier, so much faster. I don't have to worry about fixing any issues. So that is my workflow. I know it's probably not a video where I show you how to solve these issues, um, but... I, I just wanted to share with you how I do it, how I work around these issues. And to be honest with you, I prefer my way <laughs> um, because it just it saves you so much hassle and time. And uh, yeah, this is just my way of working. And if I can just quickly show you again, you can just go um, uh, one of these will have um, uh, will have the eyebrows I'm not sure where it is at the moment um, but I know somewhere there's the eyebrows normal effects let's see maybe it's the ah, eyebrows so then I just go here and I will apply eyebrows on top of that character um, just to have that as well so guys that is it for me remember if you want to um, join my patreon feel free to join you will really help support my project but uh, in return I will um, show you how I make uh, my film and hopefully inspire you to do as well and if you want to learn animation or if you want to um, if you want to do animation but you feel you don't have the finances there's so many softwares you need to get um, in the description box below there's a link um, where I've compiled a list of free software it's not pirated copies it's all freeware is it's available free to the public and there's script writing software storyboarding um, animation 2d animation 3d animation um, audio recording and mixing software editing software so um, if you want that list um, in the description box below there's a link just click there and I'll send that list to you then you'll have all the software you need to, to be able to create animations so guys that is it for me I hope to see you next week with another video so for me God bless uh, and happy animating